launch 30 helium filled balloons from this very roof here last fall. 30 balloons were bought. We attach postcards to each balloon with 30 patient names. <laughs> the index card <laughs> read, Hello, my name is, for example, Asher Greenbaum. I live at Palm Gardens Nursing Home. If this balloon should be found, please write me and let me know. My address is 615 Avenue C, Brooklyn, New York. Signed, Asher. The balloons were launched and it took some time for, for us to get a response. The patients and I did kid a little bit and we really didn't think we were going to hear from anybody. And then one day I get a nice size envelope from Barbara Schatzman, teacher of Brookhaven Elementary School. Enclosed was 23 letters from 23 of her students. The letters were written to Estelle, that was the balloon that Mr. Bill, the custodian of the school, found. The 23 letters were passed out to 23 of my patients and we began writing back. Eddie, Betty Swenson, Eddie, and Billy. Go ahead, Billy, straight ahead. that they're going to perform for everybody later on. I'd like to thank Barbara and all the children here for writing the letters and getting back in touch with us. I can't tell you how much what you've done for not only myself, my staff, but the patients here. You've, op you've opened up another life for us. You really have. Thank you. You're very welcome. Here at Pongo. 
with writing back and forth to Amy.
one is for Bill and one is for Barbara. Thank you. To show our appreciation, one for Bill for picking up the letter and for giving it to Barbara. Thank you. Both are really terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you. From all of us to you. My wife was Rose, and uh, she had she 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 volunteered at that time to work in the Beth Israel Hospital in the children's section. The children were abandoned. I had no parents, and she used to come there every day and play with them, and take care of them, feed them, and, and and change the clothes if necessary. And she was very happy doing it. And now. That when Amy writes to me, I feel the same way about children. Now, now that I'm a, in touch with Amy, Amy's in touch with me, I had the same feeling for children. And I really wrote, wrote, wrote the very fact that we can't communicate with her. It makes me feel like she writes to me, I love you, and I, I said I love you, back to loving. And it's, it's And uh, we sort of like, it's family. Yeah, and when she writes to me, she, she says, oh, I, Love Asher. That's a great feeling again. I believe that getting letters from pen pals is happiness for us. It makes me very happy. It gives me a lift. And they write from their hearts. And I think that what they say to us is from their heart. And they're not told what to say, but they write themselves. And it, believe me, they make us very happy. Being a pen pal is something that you wait. Like, like a lot of times when we, we are now in a nursing home, it's very hard when people don't come to see us or anything. But when you receive a, a letter from, from a pen pal, you feel, you, you, feel, you feel alive. You feel great and wonderful. And you can't wait until you send another letter back to, to, to the pen pal to, to make them feel happy make them feel good and well. I feel toward that little girl 
as if she was a grandchild. <laughs> and she's so sweet, and she's so affectionate, I feel like kissing her. <laughs> it makes me feel that I'm worth something to the world. And also, it makes me feel that the little child is interested in me as well as I'm interested in him. Oh, Sam, why do you enjoy writing to Joe? Because, because he has a heart to fit the whole world in it. He's, he's so nice. You enjoy it? Yeah, I Have, enjoy it a lot. You enjoy writing to him? I love writing to him, enjoy him to someone, an older person. You want to keep writing to Joe? Sure. As many times I can write to him, I'll write to him.